Welcome back to the 10th episode of the Eduverse Enigma podcast. This week, we're chatting with Expert VR's very own co founders, Evan Siller Bates and Drew McNeil. This episode, we'll be diving into all things Game Jam and learn more about a friendly yet spicy competition between the two Expert VR co founders. You won't want to miss it. Hello, hello, and welcome back to the Edgeverse Enigma podcast. My name is Evan Sittler Bates, CEO and co founder of Expert VR. Very excited to be here today for an interesting conversation. I'll pass it over to Drew to introduce himself before we announce what we're talking about. Hello, everyone. Excited to be here for my uh, uh, first podcast with the Expert VR team, even though I am the uh, co founder and COO. Um, thanks for having me. Hello, everyone. My name is Marvin Dovundo, head of marketing. And this episode is going to be a little bit different. Evan and Drew are going to take a backseat today. I'll be asking the questions and we're going to be talking about Game Jam 2023. So Evan, Drew, what is Game Jam and why does Expert VR take part in hosting a Game Jam every year? I'll, I guess I'll take over this, <laughs> uh, this first question here. Um, yeah, the, the Game Jam is basically a way for the Expert VR team or for any like game development team um, to either unwind or challenge themselves. I think we kind of look at it as a way to take a step back from from client work and to just go into um, some fun game development because normally we're developing very serious simulations. Um, but in a lot of places, I think it's seen as more of a way to challenge people by let's, let's take a week, take a weekend where you have to build a game in that time and see how you can perform. Um, so maybe a little bit of both at Expert VR. Awesome. And in your past experiences, what makes a game jam so great? Is it getting together with the team or is it just the fun activities with just building a game? Yeah, here, I'll take this one. And, uh, you know, for, for our sake here, I mean, we can just uh, riff back and forth each question until, uh, yeah, we get stumped. But, um, yeah, what makes a good um, game game experience, I find, is, you know, giving the team the ability to be creative on their own side and get excited about a new idea that they're bringing forward. Instead of just our, you know, routine work of management being like, hey, this is your task for the week, you know, give them a little bit of, of uh, creativity. And, you know, they also like to put a, a little bit of stress on themselves uh, for how much they try to accomplish within the week. So you see a lot of motivation, a lot of extra hours work, but all for uh, all for the fun of delivering an awesome game on Friday. Love it. Love it. And I know there's been a bunch of game jams, other companies, game companies have partaken in their own game jams. Well, what makes Expert VR's game jams different compared to them? Yeah, I think the biggest thing is in the name of expert VR and it's, it's virtual reality. We can see companies out there in the virtual reality space doing game jams, but they'll, they'll revert back to uh, PC games and, and games along those lines. And uh, well, we just love virtual reality so much as well as we're, we're building out new tools every couple of months for our team to use internally. So this is a way for everyone to kind of have a fun time embracing all of those new tools that have been built and all the new assets and creating a simulation in virtual reality or a game in virtual reality um, and that is not as serious as our regular work so yeah for us it's definitely that virtual reality aspect of it being able to be fully immersed in the game that you awesome and just to travel back in time here uh i know that this isn't the first uh game jam that expert pr has hosted could you guys talk about previous games that the that the team has created yeah, for sure. So we've had uh, two successful game jams so far. Um, we'll start with the first one, which we were uh, a much smaller team then. I think there was only about seven of us on the team at the time, um, five devs. And um, we created a game called uh, VR Cats or VR uh, Cyber Agent Training Simulator. And essentially what it came down to was it was a futuristic um, environment uh, based around the themes of escape rooms. And we were fortunate enough that one of our recently added team members um, had experience designing actual escape rooms in his uh, past life. So he, uh, you know, really took the lead in terms of designing all the puzzles. And at the end of the week, we ended up with a really solid product. Um, we had um, a pretty uh, salty commentator uh, letting you know that, uh, you know, you're either doing things right or you're doing them uh, very wrong in a uh, sarcastic manner. So that was a nice little twist to it, too. Um, and that's actually up on a side quest right now for anyone to download. And I think over the couple of years, we've been able to hit about 5,000 downloads and, uh, lots of positive feedback. So that was, that was really exciting. Um, and then look at that last year, we ended up building a game called Betty's Borders, which was very much a, uh, restaurant, I guess, delivery style game where, you know, you were getting chits of orders in and you had to complete the funky alien, 
um, food orders as quickly as possible uh, before the customers got mad and started shooting missiles at the restaurant itself. <laughs> um, so that was a lot of fun to really play around with. And uh, we had a much larger team then. So we were able to, you know, accomplish a lot in a short period of time. Um, and within the week, we, uh, yeah, we're able to kind of um, get that up and running and uh, and demo it downtown Toronto to not only us, but about uh, 20 other people as part of the DMZ. So um, yeah, yeah, really good experience. Yeah, I, I remember being at the DMZ, uh, just demoing, demoing Betty's Burgers. Uh, I guess that just leads to my next question is, do you guys have a favorite memory or experience from previous game jams like the DMZ? And you get to choose out of the two games, which one would be your favorite or are they special in their own way, I guess? I think we can both answer this question because we might have different uh, answers. But uh, to, to start off, I would say that the, my, I would say that the, the unique experience that stands out to me is the the first game, um, VR Cats, because we started that game and we're working on that game um, right at uh, around COVID. Like it was 2020 that we were working on that. So we ended up bringing the team together, um, but we did it outside and we had all these whiteboards set up inside. And that's kind of where the original idea and discussion about the game was. And we were all just in our backyard um, in a big circle um, and had a little barbecue. Thing. So, uh, discussing the game, different ideas about expert VR it was just so much fun. Uh, being in the backyard, playing spike ball in between um, discussions and everything. So that was that was pretty cool there. And uh, to pick my favorite game, I, I like a lot of the mechanics in, in both of them. Um, I think uh, just being able to release VR cats and having that out there in the wild um, was just really cool to see people downloading it. And, we had at least three people make full walkthrough videos on YouTube um, and just like all the reviews. So that was kind of fun to watch. And uh, I think just that the interaction. So far. Awesome. Yeah, I've got to, you know, a pretty, pretty similar opinion. And I think it's kind of unfair because we gave them a lot longer to build VR cats than we did for uh, uh, Betty's Borders. And it was, you know, the first time us, us ever doing it. So there's a little bit more um, nostalgia surrounding it. But um yeah, definitely, um, definitely my favorite of the two games. Um, and in terms of, you know, when within the game jam, I think is the best part of the experience is really when it comes down to it being a finalized game and you see the team's excitement um, and how, you know, how hard and proud they are of the work that they've done over the week. Um, even last year, I think, you know, we were demoing at the Friday around 10 a.m. and people were working in the hotel rooms until 11 or 12 p.m. the night before, just putting the final touches on it. And, you know, like no one was mad or stressed out. They were just like that excited to get some kind of final polish and make sure things were working properly to, uh, you know, put their best foot forward on the Friday. So, um, yeah, I think I think when everyone comes together and I think we'll see something very similar this year of, um, you know, the uh, friendly competition when everyone is uh, when everything's all said and done and people are about to try the game for the first time. And I think that's my favorite. Love it. Love it. And speaking of friendly competition and just focusing on this year's Game Jam. What is the format for this year's Game Jam for Expert VR? Yeah, so I think it's uh, my turn to pick this one up. Um, yeah, so we kind of broke up the teams um, in as fair way possible between the number of programmers and artists and the specific skill sets each of them kind of honed together uh, to kind of, you know, develop um, some fair teams so that we, you know, uh, don't have any, you know, I guess lopsided competition from the start. Um, everyone on our team are rock stars, but you know, in their own unique ways. And uh, we have a really good balance here to kind of see who's going to be able to, you know, come together and uh, and and build the best game. Awesome. With that said, we're we're kind of splitting us as two co-founders between uh, two different games. Uh, obviously, we're not, or we're not obviously, but we're not developers, so we haven't been able to put too much input in. But we're supporting any way we can across the game. So. Drew's kind of more on on the one game traffic, and I'm more on the the demolition one, um, at least in spirit. And so, like, really, when it's all said and done, we're kind of making a, a bet here. So, when it's all said and done, there's no way I'm eating the world's spiciest hot dog. Wanting uh, Drew to be mine on on my team, and with that, it's, uh, whoever loses has to eat a real spicy hot dog. <laughs> well, you heard it here first. Taste buds are on the line. Taste buds are on the line. <laughs> I know you mentioned uh, there's two games, uh, Traffic Direction and Home Renovation. Could you guys just explain a little bit more of that and how these ideas just came to be? 
Yeah, sure. So, you know, um, on Evan's last comment, I don't know what he's thinking because uh, I actually came up with the idea for my team. Um, so, you know, I'm very confident in delivery of a of an excellent game. Uh, but essentially, uh, I was driving with one of our uh, artists, Chris, and we noticed a traffic officer um, directing directing traffic because the traffic light was out. And we kind of went like, man, wouldn't that be really cool if we could like utilize the hand tracking SDK that comes with an Oculus Quest to control cars in a virtual environment? And that's kind of where the idea was born. Um, right now, we're thinking some pretty cool art styles, uh, which I'm not going to uh, release any spoilers right now. Um, but it's going to feel uh, very, very superhero esque when it's all said and done. And uh, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Awesome. Yeah. Then, Love it. Yeah. yeah. And then on the, the other side of things with, with the demolition, um, yeah, just don't, don't want to give away too much either, but uh, basically just destroying a house. Uh, so very excited to just swing around in that environment i guess <laughs> right awesome love it love it now what are some advantages of game jam and how can the expert vr team benefit from it yeah i think that there's many benefits like i was saying earlier i think one of the first ones is this is kind of um time to relax to a degree and for the team just to be creative and have fun and step away from all of the client projects all of the like more serious R and D that we're doing at Expert VR. So, giving giving the team that space, I think, is is a huge part of it. As well, at the end of, of this game jam, we're getting together at Drew's house um, to all have have that uh, party. So, being able to get together and see each other in person is a big part of it as well. Other times, we've like gone away for a couple of days uh, to get together. So, really excited just to see everyone and and have that experience as well as have friends and family join us this time. And then I think. Also, like I was mentioning before, we were developing all these tools um, every couple months at Expert VR, whether it's uh, new programming tools or libraries of art. So being able for everyone now to have access to those and be able to play around with them kind of in a safe, creative space um, really allows everyone to test out what the rest of the team has been working on over the past year and, and try to implement it if they haven't already. Cool. Yeah, I think the only thing I want to add on that is, um, and it kind of stems off Evan's point, is like like this week, you know, A, it allows them to, you know, break away from their current development cycle, you know, take that little refresh, but they get to also experiment with, you know, new cool ideas in a risk-free environment where we're not going to, you know, hold them to it if it doesn't work out at the end of the day um, versus, you know, if we're doing something for a client, we want to be 100% confident that it's going to work if we're promising that to someone. Um, so this allows us to like I mentioned, um, explore the hand tracking SDK with Oculus Quest for the first time. And, um, you know, it's been a lot of fun from the developers to see them kind of uh, see their see their eyes light up as it uh, as it comes to life here. So. Right. And I think that's what makes a great game jam is just seeing how the team responds and letting their creative thoughts just flow. Now. Last second to last question here, what are you most excited about at the end of this game jam? Like I know, Evan, you mentioned the team barbecue. I know I'm very excited to eat some barbecue with the team, but anything in specific for you guys? I'm excited yeah, to I'm see not... Evan eat a spicy hot dog. <laughs> That's exactly <laughs> what I was going to say too. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm yeah, just excited for the event in general. Eating spicy hot dogs, I think I'll probably eat one anyways because I do <laughs> like uh, spicy food. Uh, but watching Drew eat it because he lost, it's even more fun. Uh, and... Uh, yeah, just in general, I think it's going to be together with the team. And then I think I'm also really excited because this is our first uh, game jam and get together where we're inviting friends and family. So it is on a Friday. Not everyone's able to to make it with their friends and family, but being able to to meet some of the friends and family that we hear about on a daily basis or we see pass by uh, on the back of a Discord video when we're chatting or something um, will just be great to see everyone. Yeah, I think that's it. You know, as a as a remote team, it's tough to build culture, and uh, any opportunity we can with 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 an event like this is um, always something we want to do and make it um, you know as happy and enjoyable as possible for everyone who's coming. So, awesome. And yeah, I don't want to declare uh, winners prematurely here. It seems like Drew is very confident in his team, and Evan's very confident with his team. Uh, we're going to be posting a social media poll at the end of this, uh, just sort of showcasing the games. And we'll really love you as the audience to just vote on the Friday to see who is going to eat the spicy hot dog. Will it be Evan? Will it be Drew? We'll see. 
So this is our friendly competitive wager. And if you guys want to see either Evan or Drew eat this hot dog, stay tuned. But yeah, let the final showdown begin. Awesome. awesome. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Marvin. And yeah, and thanks, Drew. And uh, yeah, looking forward to looking forward to Friday. And uh, we'll be back to our regular scheduled uh, podcast in two weeks. Um, might have some team members on that one as well, though. But it will be a little more serious. And but I uh, wanted to put out this one to share what we're up to this week. Yeah, I mean, the only thing I'm serious about is me winning. Um, also, Evan, you also understand that I'm in charge of the grocery list, right? So I determine <laughs> how hot this hot dog is going to be. So yeah, just be uh, just be ready for that. See how it is. See how it is. Right. <laughs> Look, Carolina repairs here and there. So. <laughs> I think he's going to go buy the actual peppers and I know make a his guy. own hot I, Yeah, I know a guy. Don't you worry. Yeah. <laughs> he's you just going to like fake a hot dog inside of like wrap a pepper in a hot dog and bite in. It's going to be a full pepper. <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs> Stay right. tuned. Yeah. All right. Signing Stay off. Stay guys. <laughs>